me, Ari. And guess what? I am back with the rainbow. And with this new rainbow monster pair. Woohoo! And it's my first time unboxing this. Even though I tried Rainbow Loom. This is by Toons Design. And if you don't know the monster, Rainbow Loom Monster Tour, you could obviously check um out YouTube on this. And yep, it's just like the Rainbow Loom, but a mini loom, like a mini version of it. And like, you can make almost every single bracelet on it. And this is what it contains. It has large C-clips. 600 rubber bands, I read it on here. And then it has a hook, and I already have a hook here. So I'm gonna have two hooks, lucky me. In case one breaks, I could have another one. And then a mini loom, it comes with a mini loom too. And this is so small and cute, and plus this is seven plus. Plus and seven plus. And yeah, it's a rubber band crafting kit. And it said it includes one monster tail, one, one monster tail loom, one mini, Loom, Rainbow Loom, Rubber Band 600 plus Latix Free Rubber Bands, a Rainbow Loom Hook 25C Clip, one instruction manual. So let's get started. Let's have to find where to open it. It's from here. Yeah, it's from here. I'm so excited! Oh my goodness! Wow. Oh my god! Okay, first I want to see the instruction manual. I like to open the boxes later because they are the best and since you know i like opening the best things later while opening the boring things first i think i don't need this yes i do need this is new okay so i think it's a kind of like a notebook yeah so it's oh no it's not a notebook. it's more instructions than i thought this is giant it don't need this small box this is how small it is. This is how giant this is. Seriously, it's a single band quad fish. So obviously you can follow how to make these type of bracelets. Like this one over here, you could follow. And it says how to make another bracelet. Or is it the same bracelet? I don't know. But they're like bracelets how to make. And I think since I know Rainbow Room, I don't need this. So goodbye. Now, the moment of truth. Two, three, four. <gasps> Voila! This is your travel kit. You could, this is like a rain balloon, but it's a small kit to travel. You could also reuse this. And I like reusing. So this is the best part, everybody. So I'm gonna take this out. <gasps> I'm so excited! Okay, so this is called a monster tail. I know how it looks. I'm just so excited. And then this is where the part happens. Bands! Green balloon bands! And this isn't just unboxing this. I'm going to show you how to make something. If you want to follow along today. Oh, giant secret. It says retain for storage. I'm going to reuse this. Yeah, I'm going to reuse this. And I want to see if it's the metal to tuck or not. Uh, oh, and this is the mini loom. It's not the metal to tuck. I got two different hooks, y'all. You guys see? I got two different hooks. One metal tip, one non-metal tip. Could you see? I think it was on the box too. Wait, was it? Oh yeah, this girl has a um non-metal tip tuck. So excited to use you in case this breaks or this breaks. I can always have one more. Sorry, I'm just so excited and I don't like. Oh, this is so crumpled up, so crunchy, crunch. So now where is the part we open this? Right here. Ugh. And as if you don't know, I. I do not like storing my rubber bands in here. I just literally dump them in the space. So yeah, I'm just gonna dump it. My view storage. Yeah, I'm back with the rainbow loom. I never did rainbow loom since, since two or three months. I got carried away. But now I'm back with the rainbow loom. But don't worry, I'll still do other crafts other than rainbow loom. 
And there are so many different colors in here. It's like the rainbow pack. And there are oh, and there's 600 rubber bands in here, like usual rubber packs. And this is a simple one. So, like, if you run out of these rubber bands, what I do is I just go to my local craft store. Michael's the best. Hashtag the best. Crafting store ever. I go to there, and then I buy, like, packets of rub rainbow and rubber bands. And the best... Oh, my God, it's overflowing. There's so many rubber bands in here. And then I just, like, go... And I buy like many different types of packets. They're singular colors and they're this too. Rainbow Loom Party! It's overflowing. Okay, so anyways, back to my plan. I always loved to buy the glow in the dark one. It's like the purple, green, no, purple, blue, and white. And the white glows in the dark mostly, so that's why I love it. So this is a travel kit. So all you have to do is keep it back in the box nicely. And you could also use the C-clips like this. You could keep the C-clips here. It's like a travel kit, basically. It was meant to travel. I mean, you could also do it without travel. It says right over here, travel kit. Oh, it says all new travel loom from Chun's design. And I do not need that. Bye-bye. Okay, so... Now, up to the making. And I never leave without making something, just so you know. Okay, so let's get started. So, which hook should I use? This one or this one? What should I use? What should I use? What should I use? I'm going to try out the new one today. Of course, since this is the new thing, new rubber bands. So silky. Okay. So now I'll be teaching you how to make like a heart charm bracelet. You know my heart charm choker video? So I'm going to be making that heart charm on the hook. What hook should I use? Oh, I'm going to use the new one. Of course, since this, this is new. And my favorite color is blue, so I'm going to be making a blue heart. To make this, take a single rubber band, wrap it around three times like that, and then take two rubber bands. Oops. And then put it on your hook and then slide the three looped, I mean the three time loop band into it and like that. These rubber bands are smooth and I really like this hook. It's kind of like a crochet hook. Much easier than this hook. Go away. <laughs> and then take another two rubber bands and then, yeah. So then you take another two rubber bands and then slide it on. I did on properly. Like that. Oops. And rubber band for that. Like that. And then you want to like tape this down a bit. And then do the same thing. Wrap it around three times. And then you want to take two rubber bands. And then you want to um, slide the triple looped rubber band on to two rubber bands and then do the same thing take two rubber bands and then slide it over only the second one so you should make two of these basically I already did and then you could make a heart like that it's gonna be an upside down heart but it hardly matters it's a heart though and take one single rubber band and then slide both of these on. Oops. <laughs> slide both of these on like that. And then like that. I really like the rainbow loom. And I like other crafts too. And I can't wait to see how this crochet hook works. <sighs> Hope it works good. Oh. oh my god, it works so good! Tighten it a bit more. You have to make a slip knot, slip knot. So this is my cute heart. It's upside down though. As you can see, it's the um, slip knot is at the bottom, but it's all right though. <laughs> Anyways, now since we're done this, bracelet time. And I'm using this hook. You are my new buddy for now, but don't worry. I will still use you but not for today in my video. 
Okay, anyways, so I'm gonna use now, I'm gonna use a nice color, probably purple. Yeah, purple. So then I'm gonna, like, you could make a double banded fishtail or a single banded fishtail, blah, 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 whatever. But I'm gonna make a double banded fishtail, as you know. I love two bands at a time. So yeah, let's get started. I'll show you how to make it now. So if you're making a double band fishtail, you have to follow along to my video bracelet routine no okay so yeah you have to take a rubber band and wrap it around two times and then there are two loops and then take two rubber bands and then put them on your hook or i should say my new hook <laughs> and then like slide two like loops but rubber bands on like that Ooh, these rubber bands are loose <laughs> And then take another two rubber bands. And feel free to like use any colors you want. You can mix and match. But oh yeah, I wanna mix and match. That color made my day. I mean that word made my day. Now what I wanna use. Purple goes good with the what? Comment down below if you could comment. So I'm just gonna use pink. If it matches or not. I don't think if I think it's gonna look good no matter what. And then just gonna slide it on like that. And I'm going to use white. I really like white. <laughs> These colors go really cool together. Purple, blue, pink, and white. I just love these colors. But mostly, I love blue. Then I love white. Then I love purple. And then last, pink. So, white. And then it goes back to purple. And then, like, it goes back to pink. Pink, 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 pinky, pink, 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 pinky, pink, pink. <sighs> back to pink. And then it goes back to white. So this is how it looks like. Obviously, this is not my wrist size. But since I showed you how to make it a bit, and you could just watch my other videos to, like, actually get the, like, continue and you could watch them at the same time so yeah so i'm gonna finish my bracelet and it won't take long just to say so let me just finish my bracelet and then i'll come back and show you how to end it okay everyone so i finished my bracelet and i added the c-clip to one side already and i didn't add it to this side i added it to the open and end side and it's way easier to add the c-clip on here and these are giant c-clips so now for the charm, I can't forget it, and yeah, so yeah, it's the main part, as I say in all my other videos. So then you slide your charm on, yep, yeah, 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 kind of on, and then like that, and then all you have to do is like remove this part. This is much easier. I actually never knew that the monster tail is way easier than the ring blue. Just to say, oops, one end fell off. Just put it on there. Ooh, come on, Arya. Okay, Arya's craft time did it. <laughs> Which is me, basically. Arya. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. <laughs> there, I managed to get it. Now it's supposed to be from this side. Now with the tip of it on. Hmm. I have to do it with this side then. Harder. Then we clipped it on. Now we are finished with our bracelet. O M J. So this is my complete touch of the bracelet. And it might get twisted up so you could untwist it like mine did just now. Twist, untwist. Okay, so this is the complete look of it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And always like. Click that like button and click that red button that you see over here on your right side. Subscribe so I can um post more videos on crafts, different crafts, crafts, different crafts, and probably also rainbow and rainbow beads and many other crafts.
So, I'll see you in my next video. And if I do Rainbow Room, I'll see you with this dude. Or probably this dude. I love this guy too. So, bye!